Hey besties, my name is Jen, aka Green and Sheen, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm currently at a Goodwill parking lot because I really want to find some cute ping pots and the best place to find cute ping pots is at a thrift store so I'm gonna try to show what I find and like kind of let this be like a vlog type style but I don't know if I'm ballsy enough we'll see I'm also just recording this on my phone so I hope the quality and sound isn't too bad but we'll see guys we'll see if y'all end up seeing <laughs> I'm like looking around too because I'm like paranoid people staring but if I have the guts I'll kind of do like a voiceover style video and show some really cute things that I find and then I can do like a little haul afterwards but we'll see so <laughs> yeah I'm good I'm gonna go inside now Hey besties, voiceover Jen here. So this is where they keep all the plates, bowls, pots, pans, just everything. It's a little bit disorganized here. <laughs> but um, I found these really cute glass bowls. Um, they were for $2.99. Didn't pick them up though because I already have something similar like that for my pings. But it would have been cute. Um, and then over here... I found another bowl. It was $3.99 with a stand. Low-key, the things at my local Goodwill, I feel like are a little bit overpriced. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else feels the same way at their local Goodwill. Um, but I found another glass bowl. And I thought this would have been so cute with like a community pings, like different types of pings in there. That would have been so cute. Uh, this is where they keep all the glassware here, like over the jeans. And then over here, I found this cute little potential plant saucer, $1.99. And then I found this really cute goose pot for $1.99 and a very cute little glass teacup, super cute. Okay guys, so I'm actually at my Lowe's parking lot now. I honestly didn't get a lot of footage at Goodwill, not gonna lie, just because it was super busy there was a lot of people there was a baby crying and everything and i was just really like overstimulated and overwhelmed and very anxious right off the bat the flu the few clips that i did get are very like short probably like a few seconds long so i don't know if i'll include them anyway we'll see um but yeah, I'm at Lowe's right now because I need to get a few plant supplies like orchid bark and what else did I need? I know I needed something else, but uh, oh, horticultural charcoal and stuff. So I don't know if I'll be able to find that here, but we'll see. And I'll, of course, check out the plant section. I did get a few things at Goodwill. I found a cute little, a cute little potential like ping pots. We'll see. I'll show you guys what I got later. But right now I'm going to step into Lowe's and I'll see you guys later and I'll show you guys the haul later. Oh, and also I forgot to mention, shout out to the Planty YouTubers that literally go out and film in public and literally give no shits or at least show that they don't give any shits. Like it takes, it takes balls y'all. It takes freaking balls and I don't have them. <laughs> Okay, so we are inside my local Lowe's and I'm not gonna go over every single plant that I see here, um, but I thought this Peperomia was really pretty. I love the purple. And they had a lot of Monsteras and I didn't check if any of them were variegated. Um, but then I saw this really pretty Alocasia Poly. I'll show you guys a closer look, but that thing was a beast. It was a freaking beast. It's so beautiful. Um, but yeah, <laughs> anyway, and then they have like some Enjoy there, uh, Petonias, Pothos, uh, Brazil, um, and then they had like some Calatheas. I don't even know if those are Calatheas anymore. Um, some Dracenas, and here's the freaking Alocasia Poly, y'all. If I could get mine to grow like this, it would be game over for everyone, including myself, because I would be deceased. <laughs> um, that was only $22.99. Was, it was so beautiful. I was so in love with it. 
And then coming around here, they have some ZZ Ravens. I really want one. Me and Riley both really want one, but we just haven't pulled the trigger on one yet. I don't know why. They also had regular green ZZs there. And then right over here are my favorite pots. I use these for my anthuriums. And yes, there's a lot of airflow and it does tend to dry out the plant a little bit more, but airflow is so important <laughs> um then they had these i think these are rabbit's foot ferns they're so freaking pretty i want one so bad i love ferns ferns are so pretty <laughs> um they had some really sad peace lilies uh but then they also had some really pretty ones i'll show you guys in a little bit um they had some ivies i believe those are ivies um they had these basic anthuriums over here. It was a really pretty sunny windy day and the doors remained open so the wind was just flowing through. They had these massive raven zizis. Oh, they were so huge. And I think, I think I'll show the price here in a little bit. Yeah, I think it was 29. That, that was so fast. Good job, Jen. <laughs> But then um, here are the peace lilies that I said were freaking massive and beautiful. The blooms on these were huge. They were literally the size of my hand. Like, oh, so freaking pretty. And then I just moseyed over outside to get my orchid bark and take a look at the plants around here. It was such a beautiful and sunny day, like I said. There was such a nice, cool breeze. It was just such a beautiful day. Um, they had these really pretty, lush Boston ferns just hanging and soaking up the sun, living their best life, as you can see. Um, and then I went to go look at the terracotta pots because I, I needed some. I ran out of some small ones and medium sized ones. So I picked up two of those and then they had some, I believe these are alocasias and they were $24.98. They were so big and beautiful. Then they had these, I believe they're called hydrangeas. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Y'all will let me know, I'm sure. <laughs> but they looked really pretty too. They had some more ZZ plants, some Adansonii, some ferns, and they also had a Hoya species of Affinity Bretonii, or that might be the Bilobata. Not sure, but yeah. Hey guys, so it's actually been a few days now. Um, I kind of got uh, caught up in a few things in my personal life. Um, my husband's been working a lot and he finally had a day off. So I kind of just spent the day with him. So I forgot to come back on and show you guys the things that I found at my local thrift store. Um, again, I am filming this on my phone. I hope that's not an issue. I feel like my past few videos have been very like lights, camera, action, and I just want it, I want this one to be so chill. Um, <laughs> Penelope's in crackhead mode. But anyway, yeah, I hope that the quality is okay um let me show you guys the things that i got at goodwill so the first thing that i got is actually it looks like a candle holder and it's very like spiky and i was just immediately like yep pink pot um it would be a small one so i think i want to put a ping that stays relatively small because the width or diameter <laughs> of this uh candle holder is not very wide um and i know that some things can get pretty big so yeah i may just put a small one in this one i'm not sure yet um another thing i got was this super cute uh glass teacup <laughs> super cute i love that it's wide at the top and narrow at the bottom it's just like perfect ping pot cute little holder there I just thought that this would be super adorable with a pinguicula okay and then the last thing that I picked up was this super cute uh goose I believe this is a goose 
Uh, I just thought it was really cute. I like little animal pots. Um, and as soon as I saw this one, I was like, oh my gosh, a, a cute little ping on the back. Like, would that not be the cutest freaking thing ever? Oh, also, I do have a dr my dryer is running. So if you can hear that and the fan from the greenhouse, I'm so sorry. I really just wanted this to be so chill and laid back. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I thought this was super duper cute. So I have two pings that I want to pot up today. The first one is a Pinguicula Henka. I hope I said that right. The My last ping video, <laughs> I did not know how to pronounce things. But this is the name of this ping and i'll take it out and show you guys in a little bit the seller did let me know that these uh pinguiculas are currently in their succulent slash winter phase so the leaves are really small right now just looks like a tiny cute little rosette um i'll show you guys in a little bit but i have another one they added an extra for me I'll put their Instagram on the screen here in case um, any of you guys are interested. Um, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one. <sighs> I'll just put the name. I'll put the name on the screen too in case you can't see these very well. But yeah, so they're both in their winter and succulent phase. So they're both very small right now, but they will grow those big carnivorous leaves later on. My current pings, uh, because it's been so warm here in Texas and like it's been sunny, uh, they're definitely starting to grow their, those big, beautiful carnivorous leaves. So super excited to see how these will grow and look like. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of keep the camera down here. I don't know which pots I wanna use yet. I still have not decided that. And I wanna work out, work on these one at a time so I don't forget which is which. I'm so glad that she provided these tags, but this is the way that this one looks. I'll show you guys like a closer, better shot of them later. But yeah, this is the first one. And then the Henka, which I hope I'm saying that right. That's the way that, this is the way that this one looks. So like I said, you can see that they're both pretty small. Um, I do want to put one of them in the greenhouse. And oh, I know that one in here would be so freaking cute but this is kind of small they're all small honestly um okay so since this one is a little bit bigger i'll put it in this cute teacup and this one i might hold off on this one i did want to i wanted to pot something in this now but i'm gonna wait i'm gonna get a smaller ping that doesn't get very big and yeah I mean, even if it does, uh, even if these pings, like, outgrow these pots, like, of course, I can always just repot them in something bigger. It's not that big of a deal. I have my trusty spoon, and I also have a carnivorous soil, so let's freaking do this. I'm so excited. <gasps> I don't remember which is which. Okay, no, wait, okay, this is ink. okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was like, I already forgot. <laughs> so we'll work with this one first. I hope I got that right. I'll, I'll look back at the footage. Let me just pour this first. So this, if you didn't see my other ping video, this is... Pinguicula soil mix. It's specifically for pings. Um, and I got it from California Carnivores. I will have it linked down in the description if I remember, which I'm sure I will. And I like my pots to be pretty filled to the top. Just because I, I like the look of that. I like the look of the pings being closer to the top. 
And that way it'll have more room to kind of fill that in there or grow some babies. All right, that's actually perfect. And I'm just gonna use the back of the spoon. Oh wait, let me use some water. <laughs> let me put some water first. This is distilled water. I'm just gonna put a little bit so that like everything can kind of settle. I'm so happy that I'm adding more pings to my collection. I'm actually quite obsessed with them at the moment. So yeah, I just love that you can put them in like these cute pots. Like it, you can use anything as long as it has a little hole to put them in, you know? <laughs> so I'm just gonna create the hole in the middle. And then I'm just gonna gently pick this one up. I don't know if that's deep enough actually, hold on. Okay, so I've created a hole like so. And I'm gonna pick this up with my nails. And then just plop that right in there. I have the shakiest hands, y'all. Okay, so that's perfect. And then I'm just gonna hold it down and kind of scooch the soil up against the roots. And there we go. That's perfect. That looks so cute. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little bit more water just to kind of help the edges settle. Ping number one, done. And then for this one, I'm going to be putting it in this pot. Let me go ahead and put the tag with the other one. All right, so I'm gonna pour some of this soil in there. gonna shake it up a little bit definitely gonna have to add some more oh I'm making a mess I'm making a mess okay I'm just using my finger to kind of push it in a little bit more because the <laughs> the spoon couldn't quite do that so there we go I'm gonna add a little bit of water once this pink starts growing I have a feeling it's gonna outgrow this pretty fast but like I said it's okay I'm gonna create a little hole right in the middle right there and I, whenever I receive pings, I do let them acclimate in whatever they came to me in, whether it's a little bin like this with uh, the napkin. Just because I acclimate them slowly to my grow lights, I don't just put them and set them where they're receiving like direct light because um, I've been told from a few people that that's kind of the kind of the right thing to do so that they don't go into shock or anything like that so I don't skip that step I do leave them in this bin just make sure it's like well hydrated that way once it's acclimated to my light and all like you know it'll grow just fine it won't have to go through like a stressing out period so I kind of leave them in here for like three days or four days and just slowly like adjust them to higher light all right All right, so here is this ping, looking so cute. And then here's the other one. I'll give you guys a closer look, but oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I love them so much. And that is gonna be it for this video. <laughs> 
I feel like it was really all over the place, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it anyway. I really just wanted something super chill, like I've said a million times now. Um, so yeah, I hope that the quality wasn't bad or anything. Y'all can let me know in a kind way. If it was, then I'll just like not film on my phone, but I'm filming on my iPhone 13, so I feel like it should be pretty okay. But anyway, yeah, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below um, which pot was your favorite. Definitely check out y'all's local thrift store. There is another thrift store in my area that I love going to, but I knew that that one would be packed for sure. It usually is because they usually have some gems in there. So I didn't go to that. Maybe I'll make a separate video and try vlogging at that thrift store no promises though <laughs> uh, i hope that you guys stick around and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye